everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. You're gonna have to forgive me in advance today. I know you came here to see handbags from Amazon, but six of them are shaped like cats. What? Why? Why would you do that? Well, that is because today's video is sponsored by an Amazon store called QZ Unique. Now, I came across this sponsorship because I was on an app which YouTubers can use to find brands to work with to make content, and I spotted it, and the campaign that they had was, we want someone to review our cat bag. So I was like, oh, that is such a cute bag. I actually have a couple of bags like that that I bought in Harajuku a few years ago. So I was like, yeah, sick, I would love to review that. I'm not really the sort of person that would just, you know, accept a sponsorship and make a video just to promote one product, because it's like, I mean, that's not interesting for you guys, it's kind of like a sellout because it's just like, oh yeah, pay me, I'll make a video about your bag. So instead, I contacted them and I was like, hey, I love the look of your campaign and your bag, but I was wondering, would you be happy to send me a few more products than just the one bag, so that way it's like a substantial kind of video? And they came back and they were like, yeah, sure, you can pick 10 bags. So I chose 10 Amazon handbags, six of those bags are cat themed. However, I tried to get varying colours and styles of the cat theme. And then there's a couple of other bags thrown into the mix that are just like completely crazy. All the timestamps are below if you're not particularly interested in cats, you can always skip ahead. But otherwise, if you just want to hang around for a bit of fun with Archie and I, yes, this is Archie. He's a real bird. Some people can't tell that. He's going to be in this video the whole time, probably screaming, so if you're going to whinge about it, just go now. The bird stays, so bye bye. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to put Archie on his spot and we'll get into the unboxing. What do you want there? In my last video, a few people suggested that I put a toy up there for Archie to play with. His favourite toy in the world is this. It's literally just a piece of leather with two balls attached. Look! What's that? the video. So they sent me two gigantic boxes and I had to pull it open just to double check what was inside it because I wasn't sure whether it was the Amazon bags or not. So that's why it's opened but I haven't looked at any of the bags yet. I could just tell that it was full of bags so... This is the first cat bag. No, not the earrings, no! No, vanished. Go up there. <laughs> first impression is, well, this is much better than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. When I saw the website, I just kind of thought they would be really, really cheap. But this is actually really nice. It is very, very shiny. Look at that. Look how shiny that is. It's got a little cat face on it just there. Let go of my earrings. I'm not taking them off today. I'm not taking them off. I always... <coughs> I always take them off to stop him from chewing on them, but I'm determined to get through one video wearing a pair of earrings the whole time. Five minutes later. Bird! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <coughs> well, I, I caved and I took my earrings out, so uh, I thought I would make it through one video with earrings in, but it's just, it's not physically possible with this bird around. So. This one up close, as you guys can see, I feel like you'll be able to get a good idea of the quality of it by looking at it up close. I think that this is absolutely beautiful. It's a tiny bit shiny, but I think that the more that you wear it, the more that'll... Look, I don't have earrings in. Why are you biting my ears? I feel like the shine will kind of go down a little bit as time goes on. I am really, really so impressed with this. Have a look at the inside. So it's got this pocket down the center here. You can put your hand all the way down into that pocket and touch the bottom. That's that center pocket there. So you'd be able to put your phone, your purse, and all sorts of things in there. Oh, my hand's stuck. It's got two pockets up here. What's in there? Oh, 
I feel like this is going to hold so much stuff. The design is just beautiful with this little cat mouth there and it's got these two little ears on this side. I just, I adore this. I kind of feel like it's just gonna suddenly out of nowhere turn into Professor McGonagall. <laughs> it is very Harry Potter kind of-esque. If you are really, really into Harry Potter, I feel like you'd love something like this. I don't know, black cats and magic. It's very witchy. This is adorable. I just, I love this so much. I don't know if I'll get very much wear out of it, but I do love it. I'm so excited about this one, guys. It's our second cat bag. Look at this color. Isn't that beautiful? It's like this shiny metallic pink. This is insanely good. Okay, something that I just want to say right now, just because this video is sponsored by the store that is selling this, I always want you guys to know that you can completely trust me, and if I am not impressed by something, I will absolutely say so, and I will more than likely tear it apart. So I am really, really impressed by this. The hardware is really nice. On the inside, we have a really long strap by the looks of it. It's got these little bits here where you can strap that or you can just carry it as a little handbag. Look how nice that is. It is kind of pink but also purple. It depends on the light that you look at it in. The nose is really really cute. There it is inside. I know you can't really see very much in there but it's got a pocket on one side with a zip and then two pockets on this side without a zip. It's got a pocket on each side as well. Not a very deep pocket, but it, it does have pockets on the side. So that, I think that is so cute. I love it so much. I think this is going to be one of my favorite bags ever that I will ever have. I feel like a lot of people will compliment me on this. I wear cute bags out occasionally and I always get people coming up to me like, I love your bag, where did you get it? I foresee this being one of those sorts of bags. People will be, you know, wanting to know where I got it and then I can tell them it's just from Amazon. It's just a cheap bag from Amazon. I feel like if you picked this up without knowing where it was from, you would not think it was a cheap Amazon bag, that's for sure. Can you let go? Let go! Let go! Archie loves tags, for anyone that doesn't know. Okay, well, here it is. I think that is such an adorable bag. I absolutely love it. So I definitely recommend this one too. And for the price, that is fantastic. This is so adorable. I cannot praise it highly enough. It is the cutest bag ever. I'm gonna put this up on a shelf and display it because I think it's too beautiful to put away in a cupboard. I love it. Next up I have, this is another cat bag. It is a slightly different design to that other one. See, you can kind of see the difference. Ta-da! This one is basically exactly the same as that pink one. It's got the same design on the inside exactly, so I won't really go into much detail. It's just a big cabin with two pockets. It does also have the side pockets as well. Yes, those are the side pockets. This little mouth is different to the style of the mouth on the other one, but the colour is lovely. It's this really nice metallic sky blue. I think this is amazing, so adorable. It's our fourth cat bag now. This one is very, very similar to the first one that I showed you guys, except it's blue. So there it is. It's got exactly the same design on the inside as what the black one had. It's got the same... Not the earrings! No! This is the naughty corner. This is where boys that chew on earrings have to sit and think about what they've done. I feel like this is going to hold so much stuff. Like, if I take my giant Pusheen water bottle, I can put that in there and it's disappeared. And there's still plenty of room for other things. This wouldn't necessarily be a good school bag. I don't think that you'd be able to fit books because the opening is just a little bit too small. But I do think that it would be a really good day bag if you're going going out for the day and you needed to carry a whole bunch of things with you. I feel like this is a fantastic day bag. The quality is exceptional. Like seriously, I'm so blown away by the quality of a lot of these bags. I feel like this is amazing. So I definitely, definitely recommend this one to you. Our fifth cat bag now. This one is different to the others. This is a, kind of feels like a faux, oh, so <laughs> cute. This is insanely well made. Guys, I, I can't believe it. I always thought that Amazon was like Wish. I thought that the stuff on Amazon was really, really cheap and bad quality, but all of this has been really, really good. Uh. This one is a really, really nice sort of suede material. The nose is really cute. It's almost like a little diamond, and then it's got the whiskers. The handles up here, 
They have metal on the inside, so they're very, very sturdy, very durable. I feel like you could carry something heavy in this and you'd be just fine. Or your bird could chew on it and it would be fine. It's got basically the same pocket situation as the other one. I think quality-wise, the outside of this one is probably the best quality out of all of them. It feels so fantastic and it feels really, really expensive too. I know in Harajuku I saw bags like this for about $50 or $60, so I think this one is definitely worth the price. I love it. I think it's amazing. I highly recommend it to you guys. Okay, I think this might be our sixth cat bag now. It is. So this is the one, this was the original cat bag from the campaign. So when I saw this sponsorship up online, this is the bag that they wanted influencers to review. 100% I know so many of you guys are going to love this because you guys leave me comments all the time saying that you love cute things but you don't necessarily like pastel colours but you do like cute things. So. Here's the solution for you. Same design as the other one on the inside. It's got two pockets. It's got a big long strap as well. I'm sure you guys get the idea of what the straps... Bird! Bird! No! 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 That is so sweet. I'm gonna wear this so much. I'm literally... I know you guys are probably getting bored of all of these cat bags by now, but honestly, like, I... <laughs> I feel like a little bit of a hoarder because I want to keep all of them, like, all of them. I think they're all so nice, but, look, I'm a very privileged YouTuber because I get sent a lot of stuff for free, and I know a lot of you guys, even though I think this is reasonable for this sort of price and I think it's cheap, I know a lot of my audience is younger, they don't have full-time jobs, I do want to do a giveaway, so because I have six cat bags, I'm going to give three of them away. So drop a comment down below and let me know of all of the colours that you've seen, which one that you liked the most and I will pick a couple of winners and I will send out some cat bags to you guys because I mean I'm starting to feel a little bit like the crazy cat lady from the Simpsons except I'm more like the crazy cat bag lady okay so design wise this black one is exactly the same design as the blue one that I got I just want to review the cat bags are you just upset that they're not bird bags is that it it is isn't it Something that I think is a little tiny bit weird, the colours actually have different prices, I noticed. Like, the, the one listing will have multiple different prices, so I'm not really sure why. Maybe each different coloured bag, maybe they have slightly different features, I'm not really sure. But they are all very, very reasonably priced for the quality. It might not translate well on camera, but I can promise you guys, if you got one of these bags, you'd be really, really happy, because I've paid a hell of a lot more for nowhere near as good. Now, moving on from the cats. And moving on from the birds. Ah! Okay, I don't actually remember what this is. I completely forgot I ordered this. This is so funny. Look at this. Ah! This is a handbag. This is a perfectly round handbag. The funny thing is I ordered this because I've always wanted one. I have seen these in stores so many times. I know there's a couple of designer brands that make these and I've seen them in shopping centers, I've seen them in handbag stores and they're always like 60 or $80. So because I got this for free, I didn't have to pay for it. When I saw it on the website, I was like, yes, because I've wanted one for so long. Let's open it up. You press on it and you pull. And that's what it looks like on the inside. It's like a Pokeball. If I was a Pokemon trainer, this would be my Pokeball. I'd, you know, me with my pastel Pokemon party, I would have Ditto, Espeon, Sylveon, Alteria, Pichu, the little tiny squid Pokemon, and I can't remember what his name is, but he is literally so cute. This little guy, that just made me think. If you were a Pokemon trainer, and you had to put together a pretty pastel Pokemon party, which Pokemon would you have in your team? Hmm? Drop a comment below. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. Dun dun dun. Yeah. Pokemon to understand the pastel that's inside. Pastel Mon! It has a strap with it. It's got a beautiful inside. It's like fabric inside. Wow, that's a really nice strap. It's got these little like gold details and it's like a hot pink strap. Now, I can't really speak much for the quality of these clips here on the strap. They feel really, really cheap. You know, usually it's metal, but they kind of feel like plastic. So I don't think that they will last very long. 
but the bag itself feels very, very durable. It's the sort of thing where if you went out to dinner or to a party or something with this sort of bag, people would stop you and they'd be like, yeah, that's what they'd say. I am honestly so, so surprised by this one. Like, the inside is really cool. It's just like a plain black inside and it's got these little bits here which help it sort of stay together without falling apart. I think that is so, so beautiful. Archie just wants to get back inside his Pokeball. He wants to have a rest. It's very, very solid plastic. It's a really nice design. I feel like this clip is very, very sturdy. I was a little bit concerned that that might break. I thought it would be very cheap, but it feels like it would be able to withstand a fair bit of a beating. I mean, don't kick it around like a soccer ball or anything, but I think if you treat this one well, you'll get a lot of compliments about it every time you walk around wearing it, that's for sure. Okay, Archie, you wanna go back to your Pokeball now? Next up, which one is this? Oh, okay, I, I was so excited when I saw this because this is another thing that I've been wanting to get for so long. This is a handbag shaped like a camera. If you haven't really been around my channel for very long, you don't really know who I am or what I do. I work a couple of jobs. Like I have a full-time job, but I also run my own business. I am a photographer. I have worked as a photographer for four years. I have been a professional wedding photographer for a couple of years now and I've photographed more weddings than I can count. I saw this and I was so tempted to make one of those videos where it's like, professional photographer reacts to camera shaped products. People make, cam <coughs> People make camera shaped things all the time. Camera shaped handbag, they make camera shaped cakes, camera shaped money banks, camera shaped phone cases, camera shaped pencil cases. So I was very, very tempted. What do you guys think? Do you think I should make a video like that? Professional photographer reacts to camera shaped things from Wish. That's a title. You know, upon first inspection, this seems fantastic quality. Like ridiculously good. This is so heavy. Yeah, it weighs about as much as Archie does. <laughs> Now this is covered in fingerprint marks because I've been picking it up and moving it and stuff, but it's kind of made of like a, I don't know, like a vinyl-y kind of plastic. That's what this reflective material is. Here it's got a little knob. It doesn't actually do anything, nor does that button or that button. And I kind of wish that the focusing ring actually did something. That would have been really, really cool. And if that moved too, I just feel like all of those little tiny details would have made it very, very cool. But they would have also made it very, very expensive. So up here it has, you see what that says there? It's meant to kind of look like the Konica Minolta logo. On the lens here, it says, steal the spotlight. I think that this bag as a bag is actually really, really good. It's very sturdy. It's got this metal strap here. It's just got one giant pocket on the inside, which would probably fit a phone. Dan, can I have your phone? Stop looking at memes, this is important. So it'll fit a phone. That's fine. And there's actually still a lot of room in there after the phone. So you could probably fit your purse and a few other things too. What about a bird? Could you fit a bird? Could you fit a bird though? Look, you can fit half of a bird. So if you have a smaller bird than I do, maybe you could carry him around. <laughs> so I am really very, very happy with this one. I recommend this for sure, and it came in a couple of different colors. I really like the way that the flash here is like little rhinestones. That is really cute. It's all metal on the outside here, so Archie's not gonna be able to break it. I hate it when things look like metal, but they're plastic, but this is all actually metal. So I feel like they've put a lot of effort into this bag. I mean, I don't really know if I'll wear it, but I do think that I'll be able to sit it on a shelf and it'll look very, very cool. Archie loves reflective things, huh? It's like a mirror, you can you can literally see, look, you can see the camera in the reflection, that's how reflective it is. Look Archie, it's us. Look. Look. Me, when I finally get my makeup right after two hours. I chose this next one because it's kind of like a blast from the past for me. If you don't know, I used to be quite the emo. This is the sort of thing, I used to buy products like this a lot, not necessarily in bag form. This, oh. Oh no, oh it's broken. I went through this phase where everything was 
tape recorder themed. You got tape recorders on necklaces, you got them on earrings, you got them sewn onto clothes. It was a massive, massive thing. So this is kind of like a 2000s throwback for me. Ah! Unfortunately, it's come to me broken. This requires an Alexa, play Despacito moment. This is so incredibly unfortunate. I just cannot believe this. If you guys have a look inside, I'll see if, whoa! I'll see if I can zoom you in nice and close. So there's a whole bunch of broken parts on the inside down in there. And up here you can see it's completely, I mean, well look, there's the only thing keeping this together is one single screw. <laughs> So that is very, very unfortunate because I'm sure that this would have been a very cute bag. Now, like I said at the start of the video, you might remember when I said the boxes came to me very, very beaten up and damaged. So there is a possibility that this was damaged in transit. And I'm going to hope that that was it. I'm going to hope that it's not really crappy quality. Yes, it's plastic, but it doesn't feel too bad. It does feel quite solid. So I feel like it's probably sustained a bit of a beating in transit and that might be why it's like this. Let's just pretend for one second that everything isn't falling apart. You know, like how I live my life on a day-to-day -day basis. It's actually quite intricately designed on here. This is a 3D shape here, so it doesn't move. I thought that would be really cool if it moved. It doesn't. It says noise reduction in and out, and it says normal bias, EQ, 120 US. I mean, you younger people, you, you would have absolutely no idea what this ancient relic is. You've probably never seen a real tape recorder in your entire lives, but this is a pretty good recreation of one. Bonus points for making it authentic, but no points for quality. That is very, very unfortunate. <laughs> Last but not least, I got the most expensive bag on their website. This was at least like 80 US dollars, and you'll see why in a second, because 80 US dollars for this design is cheap as chips. Oh no, this is the wrong color. <laughs> I'm such a scumbag. I got this for free. Why am I complaining? Let go. Let go. Let go. <whistles> well, guys, if you've spent any time whatsoever on Jeffree Star's channel, you'll be familiar with the Hermes Birkin. That's right. This is a fake Birkin bag. It's come to me in the colour shade Under Archie's Wings. That's what this colour is officially called now. I wanted a pink one. I specifically ordered a pink one because I thought it would be really, really funny to do like a fake Jeffree Star inspired photo, but they've sent me a red one. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm very, very lucky to have been gifted anything at all from this company, so I can't really complain. But I do feel like the pink one would have been absolutely amazing. You know what this is? This is more like Shane Dawson pretending to be Jeffree Star. That's what this bag is. If it was the pink one, it would have been actually dressing like Jeffree Star for a week. But instead, it's me being Shane Dawson, dressing like Jeffree Star for a week. So on the inside here, wow, gee, they, they went to a lot of effort. I do have to commend them on that because there's a lot of components here to make up this bag. It's got the classic, no destroy. Ah! It's got this classic kind of Birkin tag like this, and it's even got the little Birkin padlock too. So I'll just take a second to try and assemble this. Uh, I've just searched the floor, but I can't find a key anywhere for this padlock, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do, but that is meant to sit on here, just like how the Birkin does. I myself, I'm not much of an advocate for replicas. I couldn't care less if anyone else wants to wear them. I don't really like to wear replicas. Number one, I'll, t I'll tell you why I wouldn't wear this particular replica. One of the main reasons is I don't want people to think I actually have a Birkin bag because I really don't like wastefulness. It's silly, but it kind of bugs me when I see YouTubers walking around with their Birkin bags and their Cartier bracelets and stuff because a real one of these would cost more than someone's rent for an entire year. And I kind of feel like if you're walking around with something like that on you, you're literally just screaming like, I'm made of money and you can spend your money however you want. And I'm not, I don't judge other people that do it, 
but I wouldn't feel comfortable if I had a real Birkin or if I was walking around with a fake one, knowing that people might think that, you know, I'm trying to show off my wealth. Like, it doesn't really make me feel very comfortable to do that myself. So, I'm gonna give this to my mum because my mum absolutely loves luxury items. She has a lot of fake ones. I know that she's going to absolutely adore this. She will flip out, she will scream. She's going to love it and it's made of leather. I don't really wear a lot of leather at all, so I think that this this will go to my mum who's gonna get a lot of use out of it. I'll try and figure out that padlock for one. Yeah, Archie, that's what I think of it too. I really, I'm very, very conflicted about this one because I think this is actual leather, like genuine, genuine leather. And I know a lot of people are very, very against leather. I don't really wear anything leather. I always try and go for faux leather. So I think if you're the sort of person that likes to buy leather, you would actually be really happy with this because I know that the actual Birkin or even some Birkin imitations can cost $500. This looks pretty good as far as a copy goes. The only problem is it did come with a key for the padlock, or if it did, I have lost it on the floor somewhere. I mean, that's obviously meant to sit there like that. I don't think I'd be very comfortable walking around wearing this because either people are, well, I mean, people are definitely gonna say it's fake. They're gonna know it's fake because what's a 24 year old gonna be doing walking around the Birkin? But then also if someone actually did think it was real, they'd, they'd look at me and think that I was something that I'm not. So, I mean, I know I'm not gonna get any use out of this. But if you're in the market for a fake Birkin, I think that this is pretty worth it, actually. I haven't seen a bag this sort of quality in a very long time. This one is completely up to you guys. I'm going to be giving this to my mum for sure. <laughs> and I do kind of wish that they had sent me the pink one because I think I would have used the pink one in some fun parody videos. I don't know if I would actually wear it out in public though. <laughs> oh, I didn't even look at the inside. Oh, now I've got to undo all of this. See, this is not practical. This is like Cartier bracelets. I mean, they're so impractical. You have to take a screwdriver to it every time you want to open it. The inside is a cavern like that. It's got a big pocket here. It's got a zip pocket there. Look, Archie, what's in there? This next bag is absolutely fantastic. It's my favorite bag so far. I think it's very, very stylish. I feel like you can wear it as a handbag just, you know, holding onto the handle like this. I think it's a really nice handbag. So it's got an attachable strap. So all you have to do is just hook on the strap there and then you can hook on the other strap. So you can wear it as a shoulder bag. It's really, really easy to wear as a shoulder bag, but also you can shorten the straps so you can wear it as a shorter bag if you prefer to wear it as a handbag. This bag is great. It can carry a lot. It can carry your tissues. It can also carry, let's say if you're going to uni and you need a USB, it carries enough just under the wings here. You can carry a USB. So the straps are interchangeable. Now it's not vegan friendly because it is all genuine feather. So if you are looking for or some artificial feather, then perhaps you can search online, you might be able to find some artificial feather bags. But the lifespan of actual feather is about somewhere in the range of 50 to 60 years for this particular type of bag. So like I said, interchangeable straps, the carry capacity is really, really good. They're very, very long lasting, very durable. I think they're the most stylish fashionable trend this season. You can wear it any way you want and you're not just limited to wearing it as a bag. You can also wear it as a hat. Price-wise, this one, it was $800, but I think it's worth it. As long as it's not pulling your eyelashes off, then yeah, this one's definitely worth it. He looks so betrayed. <laughs> Mother, why? I trusted you. It also does handstands. What a good boy. Oh, I'm sorry, I got lipstick all over your beak. Sorry, friend, sorry. All right, guys, well, that's it, that's everything. I am actually really, really happy with almost all of the bags. I think quality-wise, the tape recorder and the camera bag could be a little tiny bit better, but all of the cat bags were so good, and that Pokemon ball is spot on as well. If you liked this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, maybe subscribe and join the flock. You can find us on Instagram at Pretty Pastel Please. You can also find this one at Archie Eclectus. 
you can find us on Twitter too. We don't really tweet very much, but you can find us there, Pretty Pastel PLS. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to keep an eye out for our upcoming videos. We have a Boohoo Pride haul, and we also have a Massive Wish haul coming up next week too. And if you like handbags, you might want to keep an eye out for that one, because there's going to be some good ones. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mwah! Okay, so the bag is divided in the center, so it's got a dividing... You really like bags, huh? Nothing is sacred in this household. What, you want me to set you free so you can go fly with Pidgeotto?